that have been announced. Also pull up SR Port and Logistics, uh, the SR Group Company, so demerge from SR Shipping and pull up the numbers. What does that look like? Uh, we'll try and go across to the management to speak to them as well. That uh, the stock is up today 1%, again off the peak of the day. It shot up but then uh, move down as well. We'll try and get you the numbers as well if we can get the numbers for SR. The Q2 sales at 274 crores or so against uh, 173 crores. That's the comparable quarter last Friday, uh, excuse me, last, uh, last year, excuse me. And uh, also as, uh, the net profit is at 40 crores, which is almost 41 crores against 11 crores. That's YY figure again consolidated numbers for the second quarter for uh, SR ports there. Let's, uh, let's also try and uh, give you some more details of that operating income was down about 65% or so and uh, that's, those are the numbers for you that uh, gives you a sense that's a very healthy set of numbers but we will try and dissect those numbers and go across uh, to the CEO, the Managing Director and CEO Rajiv Agrawal who's, uh, who's not joining us uh, and joins us uh, from uh, joins us on uh, on a satellite uh, connection and uh, thanks so much Mr. Agrawal for joining us. First give us uh, the sense of the numbers that you saw the the healthy pretty healthy growth in profit that we've seen 273 crore uh, versus 173 crore last quarter uh, last year same quarter last year excuse me. Yeah basically the income has gone up uh, by 56 percent during the quarter to 279 crores as against 179 crores for the port business in the earlier quarter and EBITDA has gone up to 231 crores from 134 crores resulting in an increase of 72 percent. The EBITDA margin has gone up from 74 percent to 82 percent in the current quarter and the profits have gone up to 40.8 uh, crores from 5.3 crores in the previous quarter. Uh, for the half year the profit has uh, is about 80.8 crores as against 8.8 crores. So it's a very healthy increase contributed by uh, increase in cargo which is about 8% and a better realization of about 34% in the overall terms. So uh, this and uh, some rationalization of uh, costs which has contributed to a very healthy bottom line. Mr. Agrawal, uh, how much of that growth in profit has come because of increase in prices and uh, the market's big concern is the high debt level for the company and second, how much are you able to de-risk your revenues from essentially the group companies that give you the revenues for the port business? See, 34 percent has come out of the increase in, uh, in pricing. So there is uh, some increase in pricing which has taken place. Um, apart from that, if you look at the debt level uh, for uh, the investment that we are doing in terms of uh, capacity that we are adding. We are adding capacity uh, from 88 million tons to 158 million tons. So uh, the debt level is slightly uh, going up. The operating debt is about 3,500 crores for an 88 million ton capacity and uh, 1,500 is project debt. So total debt is about 5,000 crores which is going to peak at around uh, 7,000 crores uh, in the year 2014 with a capacity of 158 mi uh, million tons. So I don't think that I'm too concerned about the, the quantum of debt because these are infrastructure projects which uh, require investment. If you look at the cost per ton is very very competitive probably one of the best in the country also if you look at the EBITDA margins we are having an EBITDA margin of about 82 percent which is one of the best in the port sector in India so uh, all in all I think we are on a healthy footing and we feel that the uh, the the uh, looking at the profitability the debt levels will come down very uh, sharply in the subsequent years once the the projects are implemented and cargo starts flowing in. But when do you expect this uh, expansion to 158 million tons uh, to be completed because uh, markets also waiting for that part because they don't tend to reward you as richly as some of your peers are rewarded in, the, in terms of the value that the market ascribes to them. 
Yeah, the projects, uh, all the current projects are going to be implemented by March 2014. And the first uh, on the block would be the Iron Ore Terminal in Paradeep, which will be starting by March 2012. Then Hazira expansion, 20 million tons in September 2013. And Salaya, 20 million tons uh, in March 2014. And Coal Terminal, six, 14 million tons in Paradeep by March 2014. So this is the expansion plan and at that stage our um, third party cargoes which are around 2% currently will go up to 25% uh, and account for almost 30 million tons of third party cargo by 2014-15. Okay, Mr. Agar, we leave the discussion there. Thanks so much for finding our time to speak to NDTV Profit and uh, all the best for the remainder of this financial year. Thanks indeed for joining us. That's uh, SR Port and Logistics uh, MD and CEO Rajiv Agarwal speaking to us after the results have been announced. But uh, it's buy-sell time, so let's introduce the guests, uh, Lalit Khan.